There are so many things people have not noticed from the Learning with Pibby video. One thing, for instance, is that Lady Raincorn doesn't have her usual rainbow. And another sinister reveal near the end of the video of me playing the intro backwards and you're not going to believe what it says. Don't miss out on this video. Trust me. Come and Learn with Pibby took the world by surprise, but there's some things that people completely missed while watching the promo. Now, I'm not going to talk about the obvious crossovers because I feel like those are too easy to spot. Rather, in this video, we will highlight secrets that the public hasn't noticed. Coming in at number 5 is Darwin doing the Naruto run. According to the Know Your Meme website, the Naruto run refers to the unique running style of the protagonist Naruto Uzumaki in the Japanese anime series Naruto, where he's often depicted as sprinting with his arms stretched behind him. This phenomenon became very memeified, and it wouldn't be a surprise seeing this as a little joke thrown in. Evidences we have for this is that Darwin Watterson from the cartoon doesn't even run like this, ever. You probably didn't notice this on your first run through of this video. Also, one of the points refuting this argument is that Darwin's arms are slightly pitched up too high to be considered a Naruto run. But I beg to differ. Number one, Darwin has a fin, so his arms would overlap, thus the animators needed to pitch it higher. Number two, there are characters in front of Darwin, so if they pitched it any lower, we wouldn't see that iconic Naruto run due to the characters in front of him blocking him. The next thing you didn't notice is Buttercup's hairdo. On the poster of Pibby, we see Buttercup from the Powerpuff Girls, but here, her hair indicates that she is from the reboot, not the original. In the original show, her hair does not stick upwards like this. However, in many different scenes through the PV video, I noticed both versions of the character. Some with the hair upwards, like in the reboot, and some with a non-existent hairdo, like in the original show. This is not an animation error. I believe this is intentional. Theorist, you better get to work on this immediately. Two versions of the character in the same cartoon might be hinting to something. Does it go back to the glitch and the purpose of his existence? Who knows? But this little small detail of a hair follicle changing, there's no way you notice that. This makes me think that we may be seeing two versions collide somehow. Similar to how Teen Titans Go and the Teen Titans came together once upon a time. Also, this speculation slash theory is even more plausible with the fact that Lady Raincorn has literally no rainbows in this video. And later, we might see her with it to symbolize the two coexisting and clashing. Unfortunately, there are some plot holes in this theory. The official show of Adventure Time, she is plastered with multiple colors of the rainbow throughout her body. For our theory of Lady Raincorn to be true and similar to the Buttercup example, we need to figure out what she looked like in the pilot or earliest drafts of the show's existence. What may come as a shock to some of you is that she does in fact have rainbow colors throughout her body even in the pilot. Which is a lot of work on the animators, might I tell you, with a low budget, that's, that's actually phenomenal. But, what is the purpose of her having no colors in this new PB show? It's probably because this is a pitch and they needed to cut corners somehow to highlight other important parts of the video, or this may still play a role and we just don't have enough information yet to figure it out. Next on the list is a scene in the bathroom. Anyone who wasn't born yesterday can tell this bathroom scene is from the backyard again. No, I'm just kidding, guys. But could you imagine the Backyardigans getting glitched out and destroyed and morphed into zombies? Like, that would ruin your childhood. I think that would ruin my childhood. On a serious note, though, this is from SpongeBob's bathroom. No doubt about it. Come on, it's down to a T. And while everyone was going crazy about that Adventure Time clip that went viral on how insane it was, I found that the SpongeBob PB scene deserves more credit due to the accuracy and detail from the painted SpongeBob background. SpongeBob is not an easy show to mimic or parody. The backgrounds of SpongeBob are hand painted. When I saw the background emulated in Pibby, I was genuinely confused. I was wondering if the SpongeBob crew worked on this. Seriously, you have any idea how hard it is to make a SpongeBob background look legit since it is hand painted? Next thing you didn't notice is Grapes of Atwater, a commercial scene in the video revealed to us. Atwater is actually a real thing, not just some parody as you may have thought. 
but it still technically is a parody on Pibby's part because it's not the exact name and I don't think the writers meant for this coincidence to happen. You probably didn't notice that the cup is also CGI and the bottle is totally CGI. It looks so fake. Come on, that looks insanely fake. It looks faker than fakery. It's faker than a YouTuber crying in their apology video. Now on to some parts of the video that you either hate or love. The mistakes. When Pibby is standing next to Blue Robin, we see their true height, correct? But in a couple scenes later, we see that Pibby is freaking huge. I mean, she is massive there. No, hey, Pibby, don't come after me. I think you're cool and awesome. But she totally grew in size. And this may be something you didn't notice the first time around. Oh, my God. Who the hell cares? I always find it fascinating to find animation mistakes and errors in cartoons. Now, onto the most danging evidence I have for you in this video. We know that cartoons have subliminal messages when you play them backwards. Learning with baby, learning is so fun. Without further ado, let's play the intro backwards to see if we can make out any clues. Now forcing and leave it to Wiener. Bruh. What does that mean? What does this mean? Could it mean something about a hot dog? Does the wiener allude to, you know, what does that mean for the show? Is this just random? I find that really strange to be random because it actually makes sense. And it's kind of specific because the words actually make sense. It's not just gibberish when you replay that thing, the intro of Hibby. It makes me really question what that means. Very weird. Very, very weird. Anyway, I don't think it means anything, but it does make sense as a sentence, sort of. But anyway... Pibby. This cartoon will be amazing if it actually gets done or if it actually gets into production. I can't wait to see this. The thing I like most about this cartoon is that it's a breath of fresh air, honestly. It goes away and deviates from the usual, you know, normal plot line that we always have in these same cartoons, the same thing over and over again, you know. This person, they're a hero, they do this. The thing I love about this cartoon is that as an adult, I'm genuinely excited to see this. Like I can watch these episodes and feel something. It's not like watching some kids cartoon, it's just random, you know. And it also deviates from the usual formula that we've seen for years and years. The boring, cliche plot lines that we've seen in these cartoons over the years, Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon. Yes, this deviates from that. We're getting the crossover, which is fun in and of itself, cameos we're getting the characters destroyed from the glitch and it's also it, it kind of plays on our nostalgia a bit and you can't deny that thank you guys for making this far in the video did you guys notice these things let me know down below your thoughts on pibby do you like it do you want to see it come into fruition do you want this to be a real show do you want this cartoon are you excited let me know guys i've been gone for a long time i really don't know what else to tell you i just got over uh, the sickness man yeah i was sick again this is the second time i got sick this year Frick, man, I'm tired of this, but I just forced myself to make this video. So to address my cartoon rap battles, yes, guys, it still is in progress, but I know it's been a long time since I've been here. It's really crazy that I'm even here. You're hearing me like I'm calm and come back. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Click the like button, etc., etc., and I'll see you guys later. Peace.